What's up, y'all? So I know my hair is a disaster. Just, you know what? Just don't, just don't look at it, okay? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're just gonna be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. I only have one box for you guys this month just because I'm actually going out of town tomorrow, which is two days ago for y'all when you're watching this. <sighs> This is so complicated. So I'm filming this on a Thursday. Y'all are gonna see it on Monday. And by the time y'all see this, I'm in Jersey, I'm gone. That's it. <laughs> and I just, I just been so stressed. Anyway, <laughs> so basically this is the only box that I've gotten so far in the month. I do have another one on the way, I think, but I won't be here when it arrives. So we only have one box this month. This is the premium box. So, you know, I'm excited. <laughs> and because I only have one box, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and try everything in this box. So yeah, that's why I look ugly right now. <laughs> Anyway, let's just get started because I know it's gonna take forever, even though it's just one box. So this month's theme is Flourish, and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna start with this. This is from Rodeo. This is the Dragon's Blood Eye Masks. It hydrates and tones. It's a deep puffing biocellulose eye mask. Anyway, I don't have anything on my face. I just washed my face. There's nothing on it. I put like a hydrating serum on my face, which is like that glow you see. But other than that, I don't have anything on my face. And I figured I would just start with these, you know? So it looks like there's three to a pack. Oh, this looks interesting. Dragon's blood comforts and restores through skin hydration. Arnica reduces the appearance of under eye puffiness. Hyaluronic acid provides long lasting hydration. Cool. I'm probably gonna take these with me. Oh, because uh, after tomorrow's plane ride, I'm probably gonna need it. <laughs> By the way, my hands are clean, okay? Y'all should always know to wash your nasty hands before you touch anything that you're gonna put on your face. How does this work? Okay, okay. So they're not like jelly. It feels like, I don't know, like a paper type thing. Wait, is this the other one? Is there like a plastic sheet? that I should be removing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's happening here? Is this what I put on my face? Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. Okay, so it does feel like there's like a plastic sheet on here that maybe I forgot to remove, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. Oh, it's so weird looking down when you have like eye masks on. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this on for, oh my God, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't have that kind of time right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave it on for 20, 30 minutes <laughs> and uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Clearly you can see I fixed my eye patches. <laughs> I did put them on wrong. They are like super thin and super like, I mean, they're hydrating, so they're kind of sticky, but they do adhere to your face really well. I don't know if you could see. I mean, you can barely even see them under my eyes, but they are like so hard to get apart from the, you know, little paper that's holding them together. It has been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and just peel them off. And I mean, you could see, like, it's like, it feels like they're stuck to my face. I mean, it doesn't pull or anything, but they really adhere to your face. Now, are they hydrating? Yeah. Like, they are really nice. Again, it's just hard to, I mean, look at how thin this is. It's just kind of hard to pull them apart and it's like frustrating and you know, like, anyway, but that does feel super nice, super hydrated. I don't know that I look any different. Obviously, this is something that you would have to use more than once to kind of see a difference, you know? Anyway, those are obviously full size and they retail for $18, which is not bad. The next thing is this. This is from LaRousse Beauty. It's the on the go set. Um, it comes with, it's a three piece set that comes with a dense domed brush for foundation or contour, a powder brush for highlighter or blush, and a small dense angled brush for eyeliner or eyebrows. Mm. Oh, that's like so weird. It's like in an envelope. That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> oh, and they're, they're cute. It's cute. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the foundation brush. This does actually look really nice. And then this is the highlighter or blush brush. I would probably use this for highlighter. And then this is an angled brush. These brushes do look nice. They are soft. I don't know, I don't know about this one. <laughs> but let's try them out. I'm actually gonna put on some foundation and I'm gonna use these brushes. You're probably gonna see this cut up into pieces just because, you know, to save time. You know, nobody wants to sit here and watch me put on a whole face. Y'all just wanna see the unboxing. Anyway, I'm gonna try this, not try, I'm gonna use this Ease Drop Serum Skin Tint thing from Fenty. And let's see how well this blends. I'm gonna use the foundation brush to blend this out. <laughs> I have been like really stressed out and I've been like picking at my face and you could totally tell. 
Okay, so it did blend out this skin tint really nicely. I don't see any streaks or anything. It does look pretty even. I'm gonna put on the rest of my face real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on just a basic face. <laughs> I haven't gone in with highlighter yet. What you're saying is just my skin tint. It's just super glowy. But I'm gonna go in with this highlighting palette from Danessa Myricks. This is the Light Work Highlighting Palette and I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm. You need to be very careful with this highlighting palette, okay? But I'm gonna use this brush from that set and I'm just gonna, you know, go to town. Oh, I like that. This is a nice brush. I should probably hold this like that so I could see. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm You know, this highlighting palette, y'all, I have literally been putting this all over my face because I can't, I can't get enough. <laughs> anyway, these two brushes are nice. They're soft, they work. I'm not gonna use this. <laughs> Should I? Should I use it for eyebrows? I just, I don't want intense brows, you know? I'm gonna hold on to this angled brush and I'm gonna open a couple of other things and then maybe I'll use that like later, you know? Anyway, that is a full size brush set and it retails for $96. Why? I mean, they are kind of nice, don't get me wrong, but like $96 for three brushes? Mm -mm. I have brushes from BH Cosmetics that are nicer. <laughs> I shouldn't say nicer, but I definitely prefer them. Anyway, let's move on. The next thing is this. This is from House Laboratories Laboratories. This is the Glam Room number no. one eyeshadow palette in the shade Fame, I'm assuming. I, I, I didn't know that they had a bunch of them. Let's see. Oh, the packaging is nice. That's cool packaging. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 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 So I'm going to point, I'm going to blend, you know how this goes and let's just do it. You know? <laughs> Okay, so I added eyebrows and mascara off camera just to save time, but this is what the eye look looks like. I do really like, first of all, I think some of these colors are actually deceiving. So this gold here is actually pink on the eyes. It's what I used on that inner corner. This brown looks warmer in the pan, but it actually comes off like pink in the crease, which is nice. And again, some of these colors, they just, they don't show up on your eyes the way that they do in the pan. Some of them do have like a duochrome deal going on, but I kind of like that. They're super pigmented. The shimmers are buttery. It's nice. It's a nice eyeshadow palette. I'm shocked I like it. <laughs> I am going to take the angled brush and I'm going to just go in with the black and I'm going to dot this in my lash line just to kind of darken it a little bit. Wow, this black did not come to play, y'all. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that it shows up on top of these shimmers. Yeah, this black did not come to play. I, I almost want to swatch it for y'all just to see. Okay, that black did not. I mean, it does kind of blend out like charcoal-like, but it does show up on the lash line. This is a nice brush also, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's worth $96, though. I just... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this is a full size palette and it retails for $34. It's nice. Would I buy this palette myself? Probably not. If BoxyCharm hadn't sent it to me, I probably would have never bought it. Just because it's not a color scheme I go to or for <laughs> that often, so. But it is a really nice palette if you're into these type of tones. Anyway, the next thing is from Too Faced. This is the Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow. Am I gonna be able to use this today? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, no. What a weird shade. Okay, I probably should have looked at this shade first, but it's like a, can I use this in the arch of my brows? Probably. Should I? Should we try it? I don't know. It looks... A little light. You know what? Let's try it. This is in the shade. What shade is this? Cocoa Cream. I don't know why they sent a shade this light. Anyway, I'm gonna dot some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use it on my brow bone. Let's see what this looks like. I feel like it's gonna fuck everything up. <laughs>
Okay, not bad, not bad. Now this isn't actually something that I would probably do often. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna outline my eyebrows. I feel like it just looks a little too intense for like everyday wear, you know? But this would be nice to use like in the inner corner to lighten and open up your eyes. And it is like matte. I don't know, this could also be like a really nice base for eyeshadow, probably should have done that. Didn't know it was in the box. <laughs> but it did, it does feel like it did kind of help blend down some of that crease. I do feel like it looks a little choppy I kind of want to go in and just you know you know what I'm gonna have to try that as like a base because it does look a lot lighter than my skin tone and I wonder if it'll help make eyeshadows pop and really show up on my eyes I don't know I'll have to try that that is also full size and it retails for $21 wow oh you know what that would probably oh I don't smell anything it says it's chocolate scented but I don't smell anything it can be worn alone or for an airbrushed finish or as a pigmented primer that locks down for 24 hours of crease proof waterproof wear damn it I should have used it as a primer I need that <laughs> anyway that's cool and stuff it retails for $21 I'll probably test that out a little more this month and just see how I like it anyway <laughs> anyway so the next thing is this this is from bite beauty this is the power move creamy matte lip crayon I'm excited <laughs> my sister actually has a bunch of these and she loves them this is in the shade brandy I don't know if this is gonna go with my eye look but let's see oh it's like super precise let's see Oh, das party. You know, it says it's matte, but it looks more satin. I wonder if it's going to set down matte, but it does feel really comfortable on the lips. It actually went on like butter, which I mean, I don't expect anything less from Bite Beauty. I, I, I love their stuff. That's going to live right here on my desk. And it does kind of go with the tones, you know? Anyway, that Bite Beauty lip crayon is full size and it retails for 26 dollars. Okay, the last thing is this. This is from Serum Kind. This is a hand serum. It's the Black Blossom Hand Serum. Fortifies, calms, and keeps your hands protected from the daily use of hand sanitizers and daily stress. While it's subtle musk blended with flower scent of rose, magnolia, and jasmine delicately envelops your hands. Okay, I mean... I don't know why. <laughs> this is what it looks like, by the way. I don't know why, but I don't like this packaging. I don't like, like, the tin types of packaging. I don't know why, but I just, I hate when they start to run out and then you gotta roll it down, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, let's give it a try. Oh, it does smell really nice. I do, I do have to give it that. It smells really nice. It's like a floral. Oh, and it feels silky. It doesn't feel greasy. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's super floral though. If you're not into florals, you're gonna hate this. But it does feel super nice. It absorbs into the skin. Your hands don't feel super greasy. That's nice. That's gonna go in my purse. I'm gonna need that to go with me to Jersey tomorrow. I, I just, I need it. Wow, seriously, that's, that's, that's what's up. Gavin's hands are like always ashy. <laughs> so that's for sure going in my purse. It smells fresh and floral. And it does feel really good on the hands. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna grab a doorknob and just slip, you know? I hate that. <laughs> anyway, this is full size and it retails for $27. That's kind of expensive for a hand cream. So it's nice that we get it in the box, you know? Anyway, that's it. That's everything that was in the box. I'm gonna leave the value and the price of the box down below. Yeah, that's it. Let me know what y'all got in your box. Did you like everything? Did you hate everything? Let me know. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> this is the, this, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's keep go. Let's keep keep going. My mirror. My mirror. Is this shade too light for me? Nonsense, poopy pants. <laughs> wow, that looks like really good together, actually. This is what is this? What is this? Ote, so I <laughs> Ote. Say Ote one more time. <laughs> I look looks like. <laughs> this brown looks warmer and more neutral. Warmer and more neutral. You know, my, my life is just so disorganized, guys. Like, how long have I been sitting here? 28 minutes. What have I done with my knife? This is this from... This is... <laughs> Wait, what? Should I keep this full face on? I have to pack. I still have not packed. I leave tomorrow. And it's like 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock? It's almost 5 o'clock. And I have not packed. I have to leave here at 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. Anyway. Okay, bye.